Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Little Masiko and today we are playing Cattails Wildwood Story. This is the demo version of the game though. If you want to go check out the full version, I will link it in the description below. So, and it's about £15 or something like that on Steam at the moment, so you can go and check that out. But I just wanted to try the demo and see what I thought of it. And just from the trailer alone, it looked adorable. It's basically like a little cozy RPG life sim, life kind of sim game, but you play as a cat and you have like your call it like a village of cats and you bring them all in together and it just sounds so cute and I want to try it out. So I hope you all enjoy today. So create your kitty. Well, we are called. Can I use my keyboard? I can. Nice. So we're Nico. We can customize the appearance. Okay, let's see. So we've got white. Oh, it can be silver. Oh, lilac. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Okay. Orange and white. Ruddy. Cream. <gasps> be a little black cat. Blue. Grey. Brown. Orange. A tuxedo cat. I like those cats. They're so cute. Grey tabby. Silver tabby. Grey and white. And the lilac. Oh wait, there's more. Oh my god, there's more! <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, I don't know what to go for. Oh, there's so many. Okay, I have chosen to be a fluffy cat, a black tabby cat with a little flower in my hair and I look fabulous. So that is what I'm going to be. And I am going to be born in my own birthday. Wait, why does it only go up to like certain days? Oh, okay. Well, we're just going to be... Um, will be autumn 10. Okay. I select your game difficulty and as uh, other accessibility options. You can change these later anytime for the in-game pause menu. Uh, we'll just go for normal, quick time. So succeed with perfect timing, coin toss around the chance, immersive, same as coin toss, but no GUI and no pretty, no pretty radius will show. Um, I think I'm going to just do is just keep these all the same. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep these all the same. Once upon a time, three great cat colonies lived in a plentiful land. For generations, they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. Sometimes, the colonies bickered and fought, but each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual medi mediator of their world, the forest guardian. The world of the guardian sorry, the word of the guardian was law and all cats reserved them. It's a giant lion, that's awesome. From the sacred temple, the guardian kept the balance over the cat lands, working for the the benefits of all. The cats of the forest thrived. They played in the meadows and ruled over the hills. They built strong walls and gathered prey for winter. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. A terrible earthquake tore the stones from their ancient resting places. A horrible rift was ripped open in the ground. Every cat shuddered with fear. Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. With a weak voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found and a new temple must be built or else the guardian spirit would not s survive. Then the spirit of the guardian flickered and vanished. The frightened cats mourned and did not know what to do. A great meeting was called and all the cats of the forest attended. Together they deliber deliberated long over what must be done. The decision was reached that each cat should choose for themselves a leader to follow and set out to find new lands to settle. Maybe some would have the strength to build a better life. You, Nico, a cat of great renown, offered to lead a group into the 
into the unknown and build upon both a new hope and new temple. Soon, cats from every colony took up your call. Once enemies now un sorry now united by a common cause, you all set out to find a path of earth to call your own. But the wilderness is fraught with danger, and there are threats on all sides. What will become of your colony? Will you lead them into a prosperous new era? Will you find the perfect place to build a home? Only time will tell. Well, there's me! This is Coco, so we're going to give- it looks like quite majestic, so Another day, another campsite to establish. This looks like a good, as good as a place as any. Flat ground and good hunting nearby, according to the scouts. Let's all work together to ensure that we have adequate shelter and food before it gets dark. Ah, uh, didn't really have to set up camp again. We just did that yesterday. When are we gonna finally pick a place to settle down and stop moving all the time? I'm too tired to help out. My paws are sore. Will you quit your belly aching and lend a paw already? The job won't ever get done with that attitude. We'll settle down once we find the right spot. Haven't found anywhere else that's got the rightest resources to keep us going. <laughs> Nico will tell us when we've arrived. Isn't that right, Nico? Yeah. Of course, Nico will make an announcement once we find our new home. For now, we've got to keep looking. We've all survived a difficult winter. Now that spring is here at last, our luck may finally turn for the better. I suspect it will soon. Spark, we really could use your help. Where are you going to sleep if the shelter is not built? You're not my little kitten anymore. You're an adult. We all need you to pitch in if you want to be treated like one. Hey, Nico. I'm going to go out and hunt. In the meantime, do you suppose you could help Spark feel better? I think Spark would cheer right up if you had if they had some Valernian to energize them. It's a pink herb that grows around here. Always puts a spring in my step. I saw a huge cluster of Valernian just south of here, across the brook. Alright. I'm headed out to find some dinner. Remember, the Valerian is just to the south. Best of luck to you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so find Valerian to the south. Okay, okay. Let's go speak to Spark quickly. Oh, don't him. <laughs> uh, E. I don't want to build this shelter. I'm too tired to help. Well, that's not a good attitude. Don't think you're going to change my mind, Mi Nico. I mean, Miko. <laughs> Ember says I can be really stubborn. Oh, let's just speak to your mum. I'm sorry for Spock's behaviour. I'll talk to, the about, to him about it. There's no sense in being rude to anyone when there's a work to be done. That child of mine can be a pain sometimes. If he was a, if he were, a, were still a kitten, I'd ground him or something. But now that he's older, I'm not sure what to do. Anyways, I figure some Valerian couldn't hurt one way or the other. I'll stay here to try to reason with Spark while you find it. Okay. So that's to like prowl, I guess. Okay. That's the hit. Let's talk to Eli. Or Eli. I'm not slacking off. I'm busy organizing supplies. So many things to sort. I heard you were going to find some Larian for Spark. I 
thought for sure we had some in the supply crates, but now I can't find any anywhere. Guess you'll have to pick up some fresh valerian instead. <laughs> Crampy. Oh, buy my biggest Snickle. Come to check on me. I oh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, sorry. For Crampy is always up to something interesting. Oh, and today is no exception. I'm making remarkable strides in my research into the properties of the peppermint plant. Great discoveries await, and I must not be distracted by anything until its secrets are revealed. Hey kid, there's much to do if you're going to have our shelters built and be ready by nightfall. I'd rather get back to work than chit chat. Talking is fine when everything's done, but if I have to sleep under the stars one more night, you're not going to like me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know how to run because when you press shift it seems like I start prowling like this. So to the south, so never eat shredded wheat, so we'll go this way. So there's a little bridge here, so let's go this way. Okay, let's so oh pick up the variant. Is it this? Oh, it's this! Okay, so it's flowers. It's flowers. I understand. Okay. Um, is there anywhere else? So, bring the flowers to spark at the campsite. Okay. So, you can double tap it. Okay, nice. So, you just press W like twice and then he runs. Or I run. What's that smell? Smells like Valerian? Did you find some, Nico? Would you consider maybe giving me a little? I really think it would help my headache. Okay, let's open the inventory. Oh, cute. Sorry. This is your inventory. Here you can view all of the items that you're currently carrying. Select the Valerian and press E to hold it into your mouth and then close your inventory and give it to Spark. So am I, am I holding it? Hold? Okay. And sit. Okay. And then... What's that smell? Smells like... Oh wait, I didn't give that. Oh wait, yes. Here you go. Ah, <gasps> oh, you know what? I'm feeling better already. <laughs> Looks high. <laughs> I can do this and that my headache is gone I'm ready to help build the shelter. Good. Thanks, Nico. Uh, um, <clears throat> sorry for being such a stick in the mud earlier. Thanks for your assistance, Nico. I'm glad you found that herb. All cats appreciate a thoughtful gift. Giving out items that you find is a wonderful way to make friends. Now, we can continue working on the shelter. We'll take it from there, from here. Oh. oh, what's that cat? Oh, oh, it's Coco. Those pesky, slippery little mice. Everything okay over there, Coco? You're looking a little stressed out, you know. <laughs> I regret to inform you that I have returned empty handed. Today does not seem to be my day. Perhaps someone else could try their luck. After all, we need to catch some food, or we're all going to be very hungry. Nico, you've always been an excellent hunter. Would you care to accompany me? I'd be more than happy to point out where I smelled some prey. Yes, I think this will work splendidly. The mice are just from the east through the forest, and then a little south. I'll lead the way. Follow Coco. I shall follow Coco. Talk to Coco. <gasps> Thanks for agreeing to help, Nico. Between the two of us, we'll catch plenty of prey in no time. 
Now, there is just a small matter of this dreadful breeze holding us back. Seems this narrow pathway has created something of a wind tunnel. It's picked up since I returned. Do you feel it, Nico? The gusts are low to the ground. I suspect a well-timed dodge may be enough to avoid them and turn entirely. Why don't you try to dodge the wind gusts and push ahead? Press control to perform a dodge. Avoid the wind gusts and press onward. Control. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Cute. <laughs> Excellent work, Nico. Thank you. The clearing where I saw the mice is just to the south. I'll meet you there. Okay. See you soon. <laughs> so about here, I'm guessing. Here he comes. Do you smell it, Nico? There's a mouse hiding somewhere here. There it is. Oh, it's a leaf. <laughs> There's a mouse. <laughs> there! It's a mouse! Now's our chance. First, you'll need to sneak so it won't see you coming. Get nice and close. The closer you are, the higher your chance of success. But, don't get too close. If you do, the mouse will notice you and run away. Once you're near, pounce. If you're successful, you will have caught the mouse. If not, you can always try again on another mouse. Good luck to you, Nico. Press shift to sneak, approach the mouse, and press space to pounce. I shall sneak on the mouse. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no! You were so close to catching that mouse, but it looks like it got away. That's alright. We all miss from time to time. You should try again. I'm sure you'll catch the next one. There! It's a mouse! Get it! Quickly! Blah blah blah, you know the drill. Do it. Don't fuck up this time. <laughs> Good luck, you stupid cat. Oh, bloody hell. What are you doing, you stupid cat? Oh no, you go close. You weren't really. You fucked it up. <laughs> oh, there's another mouse. Get it. Now. We're all going to starve. <laughs> and then we can't fight. We can't fight for our colony. And you've just destroyed us all. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Come on, get that stupid flower out of your hair. How close do I have to be? Oh, okay. Right. Not that close. <gasps> oh my god, you suck so much, I should just do it myself. By this point, I could have bought fifth got 15 mice. Right, don't get too close. Nice. Woohoo! Oh, cute. Oh, bravo, oh, bravo, you caught it. Great work, Nico. Turns out all I need was a buddy, because I caught one too. I bought, I caught like five. <laughs> now don't, well, now we won't have to return empty handed. Hooray! <laughs> There's all sorts of prey you can hunt in the wild. Use your nose to track them down whenever you get hungry. Purr. <laughs> Speaking of hunger, I think I just heard your belly rumble. You must be famished from all the work you've been doing today. Took you five times to try and catch one bloody mouse. When was the last time you had a bite to eat? Good thing you have that mouse. You should probably eat it now so you won't starve. Okay, so there's a hunger bar. Nice. As your hunger bar will decrease over time, you'll need to eat regularly so you won't take damage from starvation. First pick up the mouse of E, then open your inventory of Q and find the mouse, press R to eat it. Okay, so E, Q, and then select the mouse and press R. R. Cool. That's really cool. Okay. That looked like it was tasty. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to always pay attention to your hunger. It isn't good for your health to go too long without a meal. Alright, you've done our duty. I have a mouse to bring back with us. What do you say we get back to the campsite and see how it's coming along? 
Oh, what's that? Stinky pail. Oh, wait a minute. What on earth is that? I don't like the look of that. What if it's dangerous? We should investigate before we head back. Think you could check it out, Nico? Of course I can. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's a little cat. A ghost cat. <gasps> uh oh, that doesn't look friendly. Looks like you're on your own for this fight. I can't get through this wall. How convenient, you can't help me. You can do it, Nico. Keep a level head, and I'm sure you can win. I'll give you some pointers. That'd be great, thank you. You can use your claws to swipe and deal some damage. You know what, I've been doing that in the last, like, ten minutes before I went down to this part of the game, and now I can't remember how to <laughs> use the claws. It'll probably take a couple of hits to take it down. Judging from the look of it. Be careful to stay out of the way of his attacks. Be quick and agile to avoid taking damage. It'll be rooting- I mean, I'm sorry. I'll be rooting for you from here, Nico. You've got this. Press space to attack. Defeat the foiling cat with your claws. Bah! Fuck you. Woo! There's a strawberry in the ground over there and I want it. Nicely done, Nico. You made gr quick work of that thing, whatever it was. <gasps> oh no! Looks like you've got company again. Watch out! No, oh, there's two this time. Okay. Look, there's a strawberry and I want the strawberry. <gasps> two of them this time. What are you going to do? Well, swipe them, of course. Oh, I've got it! You may find it easier to defeat them with a charge attack. You can wind up your attacks to unleash a more powerful variant and launch yourself into the battle. Try it out, Nico. Hold space to charge your attack, then release it to launch yourself into battle and deal extra damage. Oh, damn. Money! Woohoo! You showed them well done, Nico. And the path to the campsite is open again. I think when you defeated those voidling cats, their shadowy wall went away too. What do you think those things were? Why did they attack us? We'll need to report this to the others. They should know if there's danger around. Let's head back to the campsite and let everyone know what happened here. Okay, but I want the strawberry. E. E. I'm so used to that being shift to run, but it's not. What were those strange voidling cats? We need to report this to the others. Let's head back to the campsite. You lead the way and I'll follow. Okay, cool, cool. let's go. Oh, a meeting. Attacked by angering shadowy cats. That doesn't sound good. What if they're still out there, lurking in the forest, just beyond the camp? What if we aren't safe? <laughs> oh, what was their name? <laughs> I can't remember his voice. Jack is right. That sounds dangerous. What, oh, what are we gonna do? Sound like that. Oh, strange voidling cats, you say? How oh, intriguing. What a wondrous opportunity! I would love to spot one for myself, so I could research its behaviors and properties. <laughs> the good news is that Nico was able to defeat them. That means we stand a chance, right? 
Whatever they are, they aren't invincible. I sure would like to learn more about them before the next time we encounter one. <gasps> oh. <gasps> it's the guardian! <laughs> oh, greetings, Nico. Greetings, all mortal cats. I'm gonna give her a sing songy voice. <laughs> I cannot long mismanifest my presence here, but I have chosen this moment to appear before you all with fateful news. <laughs> it's the fo <coughs> It's the forest guardian. We are honored to be in your presence, great guardian spirit. I have missed you dearly these past few months. We all have. Oh, it's good news to see you again, Coco, my old friend. Soon my power will wane once more. Without a temple constructed, I have no place to tether myself to the physical realm. Why not? She sounds mist. She's very mystical, and I think that sounds lovely. But I have come with cheerful tidings. Tomorrow you will all settle in your new permanent home. I have foreseen it. We are not far now. And then a new temple shall be constructed. And it shall abide with you all once more. A permanent settlement! Oh, this is wonderful. I think I speak for all of us when I say that we are ready to be home at last. But what of the foidling cats? Is it safe to build our town so close to such a fret? Ah, oh, do not fear the foidling cats. Dangerous though they may be, I will teach you to overcome their power. Their very presence is the reason why I believe we must settle here. In time you will understand. In ages long past, this region was known as Wildwood. It has been uninhibited since time and morally. <laughs> I think that's what that says. When I felt the presence of the Voidling Cats, I had a sudden premonition that there's some good that we will be able to accomplish here. It is no mistake that you've journeyed to this land. Nico, I will teach you to speak with my voice that you will have the power of the, the oh my god over the voidling cats the skill i'm about to teach you is known as lion's roar <laughs> use it when danger is near and your enemies will scatter skills are powerful abilities that will aid you as you play you can learn and improve many different skills over time you can view your equipped skills in the lower left hand of the screen find lion's roar and activate it to continue yay <laughs> there it is right here okay so Unleash a primal roar that will cause nearby voidling cats and some other enemies to flee for a short time. Excellent. That's so cool. Do I need to try it now? Rawr! <laughs> oh, you have done well, Nico. With time and experience, you'll be able to improve your lion's roar and use it to even greater effect. I have every confidence that you will be able to overcome the challenges that lie ahead. That sounds terrific, Nico. If I were a voidling cat, I'd be quaking in my boots. Is it true that you're going to finally have a home for ourselves? I can't wait to see it. I have to admit, as much as I'd like seeing the world, it would be nice to build a shop and slip back into a daily routine after all this time. 
I've gathered quite a large inventory while we've been journeying. It's getting harder and harder to bring it with me when I move. I'm ready to stay in one place. Uh, oh yes, and it would be nice for me to have a sterile environment to treat my patients. I could have a clinic again at long last. Do you have any idea how hard it is to treat a wounded cat on the road? Ah, uh, you mean all that work I did building the shelter was for nothing? We won't even need it after tomorrow. That's okay though, I wouldn't mind having a real home again. That sounds like we are agreed. Next, we should have Nico decide exactly which part of the Wildwood we should settle in. <laughs> I have the latest scout reports right here. These are the spots that would make for a suitable home. Which one will it be? <laughs> Oh, cool. So, Sparse Pine and Oak Woodland, a welcoming hospitable place to build a home. A gentle river, mysterious swamp. We're just going to start with the forest because that seems a simple area. So, But we'll see for number five. Number five is a nope, and not a volcano. <laughs> number one. That looks like an ideal spot to settle. Great choice, Nico. Now that we have a home, we're starting to feel like a real colony again. What are we going to call ourselves? <gasps> oh! Oh, we're going to call ourselves... Um, what should we call ourselves? Okay. Um, this is what we're going to call ourselves. We're in the Luna Guild, and this is our little moon shield. Okay? And anytime like, I have a plan that I want to do something, my partner always... <laughs> Like makes it always makes me laugh at this, and he always like um, salutes and pulls a funny face. He goes, "Right, Captain." So, the leader title for myself is going to be Captain because it makes me think of him. So, yes. The Luna Guild. I like the sound of that. At first light tomorrow, we will travel to our new home. Let's all hear a cheer for Nico, captain of the Luna Guild. Yay! Here we are, home at last. We've all worked very hard to establish this town, haven't we? This is your new den, Nico. I hope the location is alright. If not, you can always move it later. Inside, you'll find everything you need to feel right at home. A bed to sleep in, a calendar, even a scratching post to train your skills. Why don't you go check it out for yourself? You've had a long day. I'll bet some sleep would be nice. Okay. Let's just check out this really quickly. I can't. Okay, this is my storage, so let's put all of that in there. Nice. Let's look at this. So it's spring, so we've got 10 days in each season. Okay, so altogether we've got 40 days of the year. So I have a record player, that's nice. They're just a the fireflies. As you gaze, you see an image of the skies appear. Today, I expect clear skies all day long. Right now, it's sunny outside. Oh, that's so cool. Tomorrow, I expect clear skies all day long. That's awesome. So this is my bed here. That's just my inventory. Oh, nope, nope, I didn't mean to do that. This is just my lights. Oh my god, the scratch and pulse. Let's check that out. Oh, so it instantly cure all negative states. Effects from yourself and all, ne other near all nearby allies. Reset skills and for all their skills to zero so they can immediately be used once more. Applies a wind to all nearby enemies, damaging slowly over time. Focus your mind, becoming invulnerable to damage not back for a short time. Okay, so there's... Okay, that's really, really cool. Okay, let's go to the bed. 
This looks like a great spot to curl up and sleep for a while. What would you like to do? Save the progress quickly and then we're going to go to sleep and we'll check out and explore everything tomorrow. Adorable. Game progress auto saved. So it's um, spring day two. Okay everybody that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed a little demo of Cat Tales, a Wildwood story. The next one I'm just going to go through every single day of spring and that's all you really get for the demo. You only get like 10 days to actually like muck about and see what the game's like. But I hope even just like that little part of the game was enough to like get you all excited and want to purchase it yourself. I know I definitely want to do that. It does look really fun and it won't be anytime soon but it will be at one point to get. But I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.